Yeah, no, not great. I liked this movie when it came out, and as it had, as time has gone on, and I feel like I've matured as a per- person yeah. and as a person who consumes and criticizes media. As a film critic. As a film critic. Uh, like. It's no Akira Kurosawa. Das <laughs> 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 Sweden. But is it cinema? <laughs> is it Kino? Ash, can we plaster over Stephanie's face with Lee's face? Just just for posterity's sake. Because sure. like, this is not Steph. Unless <laughs> unless Steph grew up a very nice uh so yeah, a very, very nice full beard. Yeah, a very good facial yeah. hair. Well kept facial hair. Yeah, I don't see why not. Ever, I, there you go. There I was gonna say, ever since <laughs> Ash opened up a Pandora's box, and I don't think they realized it. The second that Ash changed the intro for the launch of Style Theory and see it out like, oh, we can add in a little like low Style Theory logo <laughs> hidden in the glitch. I'm like, oh, well, now we've opened up the door, my friends. Now anything's possible. So yeah, if we could just like have like a smiling Lee face over Stephanie's face yeah. in the intro, that'd be great. Anything can happen here. Yeah, great. We wow. have the technology. <laughs> we, have the, we can build it. <laughs> um, hey. Speaking of having the technology, Yes. Iron Man in oh, oh. the MCU. Oh, good segue. Mm. Hey guys, welcome to GT Not Live, where today it is not Stephanie on the couch next to me. It is a familiar face. It is Lee, a.k.a. our creative director over on the Film Theory channel. Indeed. Uh, the salty middle child of the channels <laughs> at this point. Yeah, God, Game Theory just gets so much attention. And everyone likes food theory now. They do like food theory. And style theory. <laughs> Yeah, go subscribe to Style Theory, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Um, it, it. You guys did a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. And it's a good channel. Oh well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Well, but you know, Absolutely. you know what? Who else does hard work? Who you? Oh, thanks. Fil- fil- film theory. Thank the, you. the forgotten middle child of the channel. <laughs> and it is a lot of work these days keeping up with all of these streaming shows, especially on Disney Plus. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I do my best. So. I do my best to consume everything all the time. Everything, <laughs> everywhere, all at once. Uh, that is my life. I just consume everything. Um, but even I couldn't stay up to date with all the MCU stuff on Disney+. Plus. Obviously, I watched Loki. I did WandaVision. Yeah. I did Captain America and the Winter... Whatever. It's Falcon and the Winter... It sold whatever that one was. <laughs> be better, Matt. Be, yeah, be, be, be better, Senator. That's, just, that's what that one is to yeah, me. The Be, be, be Better, be better. Senator uh, show. And at this point, um, honestly, I've forgotten a lot not forgotten but yeah. like they they is this one out yeah, right i don't know well i should go check oh god there are six episodes well, I don't... right well and it's, it's it's also so like the thing is i was all aboard that train when i thought it mattered but then <laughs> but then they're like yeah but it d- doesn't matter like really hey, it's gonna matter in like eight years when moon knight shows up in like <laughs> yeah right well and and some of them matter to like varying degrees but the quality was hitting a level that i was like eh. yeah they absolutely I, I saw a tweet that was going through like oh here's phase one and yeah. over this many years they yeah. had this many minutes and yeah it was like phase one five years for 300 minutes yeah. phase two five years for 350 minutes yeah. phase three okay we're hitting like 500 minutes over like yeah four years that's kind of crunching right it. phase four 3,500 minutes is that over what? two years. Are you kidding me? Maybe two and a half. That's yeah. nuts. All the shows, man, they really... <laughs> no, All right. of a sudden... Well, well, and I think that that was it. Hey, hi, today we're doing an MCU tier <laughs> list. In case you don't yes. know, Lee's on the couch. He's the film theory guy. MCU, and we, and we obviously... Are, oh, yeah, the, MCU, the biggest movie franchise in the universe. Yeah. So. It's, it's kind of falling off, which we're going to yeah. talk about. But anyway, like we're, we're going to do a tier list today of the various MCU movies... The shows are not on it, right, Ash? Correct. That is correct. Okay, you know this too. Great. Yeah. Great. There's two people in the room who know what we're doing. I just sit on the couch and talk. Um, yeah, we, we figured that was going to take up a lot of time because yeah. I know you and I have capital O opinions about <laughs> the shows. Uh, I honestly, actually, and our think opinions we're probably are most always right. Just so you know, always so this, objectively correct. Yeah. So this, so this uh, tier list is the definitive de facto <laughs> tier list. Uh, anything we say, you have to recite till the day that we decide to change it. Because yes, our opinion, indeed. that's it. So, you know, all, everyone else who's like, my opinions are mine and mine alone. No, this is it. Uh, this, and, these and are my... Obje- and our objectively correct opinions can change in the future. Right, sure. So, I mean, you because... have to, like, if we do another one of these, you have to come back and yeah. watch that one as well. That's true. 
Uh, and then, you know, and you have to share those opinions <laughs> with everyone else and, and tell them, well, this is just what I have to believe now because Matt and <laughs> Lee have the right answers yes. for you. So you're mm-hmm. welcome. Uh, <clears throat> sorry if we disagree with you, but we're right. You're wrong. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is... Mm-hmm. No. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and yeah, the bit's done. <laughs> yeah, we, and we have sealed our fate on the internet. Uh, but yeah, so since the TV shows are on here, let's let's do a quick tier list of not yes. tier list, but let's do a quick rundown of the of the shows. So yeah, I watched I watched them, and then yeah, like you said, the quality of them got to the point where I'm like, oh, I'm not really enjoying a lot of these. And also, I was seeing like, do they actually matter in the wider canon a lot of them are tangential at best and, and, and they the just movies will some... completely change the character arcs that... right that yeah. was yeah and so it like, was on one hand i'm like you it, i think i think it's a great example of marvel had my buy-in coming out of endgame like i'm still on this yeah. train we're still going forward i've really enjoyed a lot of these that have come out you've got me i'm still hooked and now you know they burned through a lot of that goodwill with a, a lot of those shows and so now I'm like, well, and, and then and then the movies didn't really kind of like yeah, stick we, around. Yeah, we'll get to them, but like Phase Four was really hit and miss, right? And it was a whole lot more miss, in my opinion. Yeah, no, in my objectively correct opinion. Exactly, in your opinion, which is 100 <laughs> percent correct, and we will agree and with factual. this. Factual, yeah, and factual, yeah. exactly. <clears throat> um, add this to the the Wikipedia page for every single movie. Like Matt, Pat, and Lee said this, mm-hmm. rated it a yeah, blank. Get, there's a whole reception section down near the bottom of each of these movies you can go add. <laughs> yeah, if you can add, like, <laughs> like definitive opinion havers, Matt, Pat, and Lee from Film Theory said this about this, all other opinions in the section do not matter. We're going to get so many things on the subreddit now. Oh. People actually editing that. Oh, they absolutely so, okay, are. Okay, quick rundown of the shows because yes. limited time. Yeah, yeah, of course. WandaVision, I thought it had a super interesting concept yep. that they then turned into... Uh, let's have a giant sky beam battle. Yep, hundred percent. Wasted the idea. I, it, it, <laughs> that one hurt me personally, uh, <laughs> just because I love that is that is right in my wheelhouse of my creative passions. Right, mm-hmm. anything that like uses the medium of media to tell a story, yeah. I think is really compelling. So really interestingly, too. Yeah, like there there was so much that could have done. I I honestly would have cut <laughs> the end. Like. Yeah. You could have the one episode, I think, where they're going through Wanda's history and mm-hmm. revealing, oh, she's the Scarlet Witch. Yep. That, totally fine. Yeah. I would not necessarily say you need the battle with with Agatha. Mm-hmm. But they could have done... What do you mean? The fact that that Wanda, sudden, one episode prior, it's like, this is a rune, and I have used my runes to thwart <laughs> you, at, thwart you, Wanda. And then the next episode, it's like, I'm the Scarlet Witch now, and here is me <laughs> using All my mastery runes. of runes, and I've yeah. thwarted you, witch who's existed forever. Yeah, on, it, it was a decision. It was, <laughs> it was a choice. Uh, and, and I would have, I would have gone through them and just continued the. They could have done an office parody. Mm-hmm. They could have done. Yeah. Um, I can't think of a, a "How I Met Your Mother." Yep. Sort of. That would have been perfect well, for Wanda, Wanda and Vision. See, that was like, that was the thing that hurt me. Was yeah. the, the first couple episodes I loved because they were playing off of the like, here's all the different eras of TV, yeah. and we're playing off those tropes, and then they drop it in the final yeah. like two or three episodes, and the way that that final battle here, creative team, uh, let's go back, <laughs> retcon everything because my opinion's correct. Um, so I will fix your show for you. Uh, instead of stupid sky beam battle that makes no sense, instead you use the medium of television to be the final battle, you know? And so you have two witches who are clearly able to manipulate this world of broadcast television across decades, and all of a sudden you get this really interesting battle of using the medium of television, and Wanda, because she created the world has more mastery over it, and now yeah. all of a sudden she's able to, like, master her control over these sitcom tropes. And, and they could, like, change the channel. Exactly. Like, yeah, like, and they're constantly... All of a sudden we're in Breaking Bad. All yeah. of a sudden we're in... 100%. You, and so whatever. you get all these Easter eggs, yeah. which are really funny. <laughs> People are like, no way, I can't believe they did this. And then also it pays off the setup that everything was leading up to at the beginning, which is like, oh, I love Lucy and Malcolm in the Middle and this and that. You're paying all that yeah. off as part of the final battle. You've set up the Chekhov's gun, you fire it in the final battle. It's great. And all of a sudden, that becomes one of my favorite MCU products ever to go down the pipeline. R.I.P. Yeah, that, 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 and it never happened. But that is my personal <laughs> headcanon, so there we go. Uh, Falcon Winter I like Soldier. That, I like that we're taking more time, <laughs> not on the tier list. Hey, that thing that we didn't want to do because it would take too long for the episode uh. to go up on the tier list. Let's just do that without any visual aid. Here, okay, speed and, run. Yeah, just real quick. Falcon Winter Soldier, be better. Be Loki, better. I enjoyed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Oh, geez. What? But also, uh, like, five shows in one. Like, that was another Fair. one where yeah. I'm like, hey, let's, the buddy cop thing, very interesting. The, let's explore these the, very the Doctor Who. Yeah, the Doctor yeah. Who-esque show, also very interesting, but not the buddy cop thing that you started. Yeah. Like, that, right, Loki was three seasons of a show <laughs> merged together into one That phase four the problem. Yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly, that's what it was. Like, Give me a season. I, I know that you're in a rush to set up things and whatever, but let me have a show where it's just Loki and Owen Wilson, like, hanging out with each yeah. other, solving That'd time crimes. Awesome. Fun. You know, then move on to the Doctor, like, oh, and the timey-wimey Doctor Who stuff in, in the second round or whatever. And, like, oh, there's a clone Loki, and they're going on adventures, too, and how does the third wheel fit in? And then part three is, like, now we're getting into the, like, astral stuff. Like, yeah. Give it more time, stretch it out a little bit more. It felt like every two episodes I was watching a completely different show, which drove me nuts. So there you go. I fixed that show for you, too. There's objective opinion. Done. Miss Marvel, not for me. Um, it, it's very much a Zoomer show. Did you? That's You're the Zoomer? You're a Zoomer? Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, Zoomer. <laughs> hey. Uh, what, what did you find about Miss Marvel? Well, I've only watched a couple episodes, but like... I thought it was cute. Okay, it was cute. It yeah. had, had, I don't think you've hit the part where they completely change genres as well. God! Yeah. See, well, I guess I haven't. Man! Uh, that's See, again, all the shows do yeah. this. I, I actually wanted to watch Miss Marvel. I ran up, like, time got yeah. away from me, and then I lost it, and then I heard, like, eh, it's not that good. And I'm like, okay, well, that's another one that will just shovel down. Yeah, uh, um, Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Again. Great, great idea. Great idea! Episode one. Probably the best episode one of any of the MCU shows. I agree with that. Yeah. It was so... The idea of there's a whole other life that I'm living when I'm blacked out, and I need to kind of piece together or, like, figure that out. So cool! Drop it by episode two! <laughs> and you're like, damn it, again! Yeah. Over and over, there's so many cool setups that do not pay off at all, and then it becomes giant kaiju battle over Egypt that apparently no one remembers or cares about. <laughs> like... Another skybeam battle. Yeah, another yeah. skybeam battle and a, a kaiju battle that has like no weight because no one in Egypt remembers it or talks and, about and it I don't ever. Think anyone could see it. What, yeah. Could they? I don't know. Yeah, it, but also, a lot of people would have been dropping dead in the finale of that one because they're sucking in all these yeah. souls. Oh, okay. No one cares. There's no weight to any of it. It drives me nuts. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She Hulk. She Hulk. Stephanie's shutting the door because we're getting... She's, Stephanie's like, they're too loud over there. Uh, She-Hulk. So, I'm sorry! The, the, the walls are thin, Steph! Oh, no, here she... Oh, no. Oh, no, she's coming. Oh. Pipe down! We're talking MCU! It's getting heated! Yeah, uh, She-Hulk. She-Hulk should have remained a, a law comedy. They, right. There... A quote that really annoyed me about the show was yeah. that they... Like, had this whole big finale fight planned, because that's yep. what the season had been building up to, and Kevin yep. Feige was like, you're changing what people, what the selling point of the show is, and, okay, so why did you have this mediocre plot that yep. you literally deleted? Right. Why? I would have just leaned hard into the yep. law aspect yep. of it, but... Right, yeah, again, it's one of those shows that just yeah. pivots in a weird direction, mm -hmm. and it's like, haha, we had a bad plot, but we're gonna make a meta joke about it, so it's yeah, like... Yeah, so it, it, it makes forgiving. it okay. No, no, it, 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 yeah. no. Very frustrating. <laughs> yeah, frustrating, <laughs> frustrating. What if existed? It was, it was fine. It wasn't asking any of the... What if, again, was a fundamental uh, underselling of the premise yeah. of... None of the what if questions were answering... Any questions that I... What if Doctor Strange lost his heart instead of his hands? What does that even mean? <laughs> lost his heart instead of his hands. What are you talking... That is not a thing that exists. What if zombies... What? Like getting, the first... Getting its own spinoff, by the way. Is, which I get, because it's like, oh, everyone loves zombies. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, no one's asking that. What if What if T'Challa was Star-Lord? That, one, what, that was a weird one. It, that, <laughs> that was a weird one. Weird. Outside of what <laughs> if Captain America was girl... <laughs> Which also ended up just being I'm rewatching Captain America. Um, not just girl. It was Peggy. <laughs> okay, sure. Do not diss my girl <laughs> no, like that. Peggy's, no, it's fine. Yeah, that's fair. And also the fundamental concept of that premise was because it's like they're ignoring all of the like mistreatment of women during that era. So like <laughs> you know that's not even an honest answer to the question. <laughs> like if Miss Amer if if Miss America if Captain America was a woman. Peggy, notwithstanding, 
that story would not look just like it looked in Captain America. I'm sorry. Learn some history. Don't be afraid of it. You know, all you know. We can grow from that. D- Disney, right? Yeah. D- Disney would have to do that. To, oh, this depicts like you know how they do in front of like Peter Pan and stuff on Disney Plus, where it's like this depicts offensive things. It's like yeah, history was rough, man. Sorry, it's a tough thing. Yeah. So that's the TV shows. Was there any that I missed? Probably, but right, but <laughs> but the fact that we can't remember them so is many. is a problem in and of itself. So many. Marvel, please slow down. Oh well, it sounds like they are, but also like it's too. I don't know. It, yeah. it might be too little, too late at this point. So speaking of, let's talk yeah. about movies. We have a tier list for the yes, movies. Yes, we do. Okay, so in order. Okay, ground rules for this. Okay, um, uh, yeah. So you wanted to do a tier list of this, which I think yes. is is going to be a lot of fun. I I've watched all of these at least twice. I think I, I tend not to rewatch movies just because I like I, when I watch them, I study them pretty hard yeah, and then I, I watch a lot of commentary about them. But I remember them pretty darn out well. Out of these, I think the only one you and I probably have only seen once each is Ant Man because we Correct. were filming this the week after Ant Man came out. Correct. Yep. <clears throat> Everything else I've seen at least twice. Okay. Great. Cool. So we so we're on the page. So yeah. What are what are your ground rules for yeah, so a tier list? I think tier lists are interesting when you force yourself to make them into a bell curve. Okay. So a couple on the top, a couple on the bottom. Yeah, and, and, and like... You can't give everything, like, C, it's an S tier. Yeah, exactly, which I've seen some people do, and, man, that's just not interesting. Well, it's not interesting. It's also... <clears throat> I, I think a lot of people tend to, just like game reviewers, tend to rate everything up a little bit out of yeah. fear of the internet. Yeah. Which, but, you know, are, again... Friendly reminder, our opinions are objectively correct, so... Uh, what can't is really there to get, fear? You can't really get mad at it. We're just spouting facts. Like, it, it's basically, hey... This is just a factoid yeah. about it. And you got to deal with it. Just like this movie was made in 2009 or it is, whatever. It is also a D-tier movie. It is also a D-tier movie, yeah. according to Matt Pat and Lee, which is objectively correct. So, yes. like, Wikipedia should have a little special quality produced by a, a, Disney a whole, Marvel. Yeah, a whole section in the... <laughs> Matt Pat and Lee review. There it is. Oh, man. Distributed by... Oh, we're going to get in so much trouble. With, with box, the office earn- Foundation. <laughs> box office earnings and also <laughs> us. Yeah, okay, so that, that's rule number one. Rule number two, yeah. Uh, F tier is exclusively for movies that we think actually fail as movies. Ooh, okay, that's that's pretty extreme. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I think there are movies in on, in this list that belong there. Ooh, and I okay, would not wow. say that just to fill a quota. Yeah. Other movies deserve to be in the same tier. Okay. F is exclusively for failure. Okay, so that that one kind of breaks the bell curve if we're like, yes. all of them suck. And, yeah. You know. Which, you know, I don't think that's true. To be fair to Marvel, very few of their movies have failed. I was gonna say, which I, can I think? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, get we'll, to it because we'll because it's interesting here. You say there's a couple that you know to to go down. At, at least one, I would and say. And I'm like, can I think of any that I'd be like, oh yeah, that failed? Because the thing about Marvel is like at at worst they're like safe, or again, like our complaints about the TV shows. They're yeah, like, oh, they're not great, but like to outright fail. It's okay. We'll get there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any other rules? Uh, any other? Okay, are we, so are, we, we have, have to, to agree okay. where they go. Yeah, yes. and we have a limited. <laughs> yes. We have a limited time to decide Ooh. where they go. I okay. am setting a timer. Oh, um, given that this banter has now gone on for eighteen <laughs> minutes and thirty hey. seconds. Um, tops, tops. You have. Two minutes. Ooh, that's gonna okay. Interesting. To decide. Can okay? Can we? <laughs> we have thirty-one movies to get through. Thirty-one movies, two minutes a pop. But but but, can we call for like an like each of us gets like two extra minute calls? To like, debate. like to explain. Yeah, to explain yeah, okay. or like that's to. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. So yeah. each of us get two extra minute calls. Be okay. like, no, I feel strongly about this one. Let me convince you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So what order are we going to take? Like, uh, well, obviously, we're going to try it. This, this is in alphabetical up until phase four. Okay. Uh, but I think we should <laughs> okay. do it. Sure. Yeah, what, what happened here, I'm sure, is this list existed and yeah. they've just kept adding on. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we should do it in release order. Okay. Release I, order. I have the list right here. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, so first off, Iron Man. Iron Man. Okay. Thoughts. Iron Man, super solid movie. Uh, struggles in some places because they did not have a finished script mm-hmm. when they shot that movie. A lot of it was improv. Yeah. So there are some flaws there yeah. as a movie, in my opinion, because of that. Yeah. But overall, very solid foundation to go on. Mm-hmm. I would put it in B. Ooh, I was thinking A or B <laughs> as well. Uh, I think it's a real. I mean, it's about as solid of a start as you can hope for. It it deals with. Very uh, topical political Especially issues at the time. Yeah. At, for, at that time, like because I mean, there's a whole talk about like you know weapons in the Middle East and stuff. And you're like, whoa, this is 
oddly, you know, relevant. Yeah. Also in, wasn't a Disney movie at the time. <laughs> and see, I think that's one of the things that I like about it. Because at the time I watched it, I'm like, oh, this is a good movie. I rewatched it like a year ago just because I'm like, oh, I haven't watched this in a long time. And I'm like, oh, wow, like, this is so much edgier mm. than I expected it to be. And it crosses lines that I didn't expect. Yeah, Iron Monger and stuff is kind of like, Meh. There's some fun memes that come out of that this movie. <laughs> Tony Stark built us in a cave! <laughs> yeah, like, for a box of scraps! <laughs> it's awesome, right? Like, stuff like that <laughs> is awesome to me. So I would personally put that one, like, I also give it a little bit, like, I think for my grading system, I grade a little bit on, like, this was early, you know? Totally And, and they still knocked it out of the ballpark. Whereas nowadays, they know what, they should yeah. know what they're doing. And if you're dropping the ball at this point, that, yeah, that's, that's on I, you. Okay, that, I think that's fair. Uh... Also, for other context, things can get bumped up and down because of the uh, the, bell the bell curve, curve. rule. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, 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 think I, I am comfortable letting this start as an A. Nice. Okay, yeah. let's agree with A right Perfect. there. Perfect. Yeah, nice. Cool. That's Iron Man two. Okay. That, no, that's Iron Man. Yeah. That. Uh, oh no, that's Whiplash. No, you're yeah. right. I see. I see Whiplash. <clears throat> in the cor- uh, uh, it's that one next to Spider Man right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, you're right. I'm like, isn't that Iron Monger? <clears throat> oh no, that's War Machine. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Number two, Incredible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> the one that everyone forgets exists. <laughs> yeah, it technically is an MCU movie. Yeah. Weird rights issues. Uh, Edward Norton was a jerk behind the scenes. Right, and, and not particularly, like... Memorable. Memorable on camera. The CGI is... Eh. Early. I mean, it's, it's early, <laughs> yeah. Uh, early and cheap. Y- yes, correct. Um, y- yeah. I do like that they did not say his origin again. Yeah, right. That, you just start in media res. That, like, that is something I think Marvel especially these days, just embraces, mm-hmm. is like, everyone knows Spider-Man's origin story. Yep. We, when the, this had come out, there had just been a Hulk movie like five right. years before right. they told the origin story. Everyone knows it. We can just jump in. Yep. I think that's a cool approach to do it. Yes. About the only cool thing <laughs> in the movie. Well, well and again, and, and, okay, so I will say for this one, I, I, again, I, I, I rewatched some of the early MCU recently because it had been so long. And I'm yeah. like, oh, let, me, let me revisit it, right? And... Again, what I was surprised by with this one is how scary they let it get. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, a lot of horror movie yeah, inspiration. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah. like, monster horror, tra- like, early transformation, like... Body horror. Yeah, body yeah. horror stuff in it, which, again, is so much different and edgier than what they let things nowadays tap into. Yeah. Outside of, like, Multiverse of Madness, which gets horror in weird <laughs> ways, but we'll get to that. Um so I did appreciate it for that, but it has a lot of the like worst tropes of movies from that era where there's like like the saw like frenetic cutting and there's like the weird like shaky cam. Yeah, a lot of shaky yeah. cam, a lot of like transparent <clears throat> overlays over things, uh, you know, like Oh, I forgot about it. very feathered. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. the feathering <laughs> everywhere and you're like, what am I looking at? Like two images added on top of each other does not create a better image. You just create yeah. a, a mess of vomit on the screen. I did also, I, I think the cast is solid other than Edward Norton. Yeah. I, I really like yeah. the actor they had for Abomination. Yes, 100%. Uh, Tim Roth. Yep. Great great actor. Yep. So uh, I, I would put D. Yeah, I was going to say. It's not It's not E. It's not, was that the yeah. timer? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow, Y'all perfect. Said yeah. D right there. D. Okay, <laughs> D it is. I, I agree. I, I don't think it's quite as low to get an E. Also, the one we forgot was the special... Uh, Werewolf by Night. Oh yeah, that which was, was genuinely great. I like that one. I, I want like them to Werewolf do more shorts a lot. Yeah, yeah those, that was the perfect for it when it comes to the MCU, like Disney Plus TV shows. Werewolf by Night and like special feature, special I, presentation. I am excited for more of those. Oh, those the, are ho- the holiday special as well. Yes, which was uh, it in of itself fine. Yeah, I, 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 it was insubstantial. That's a good word for yeah, it. Yeah, insubstantial. I think I think I was <clears throat> I let myself get more hyped for it because it was a Guardians thing. And then I'm like, oh, this isn't really like it's it's Guardians. I, it has it's some Ke- of them. It's in Kevin it. Bacon. This yeah, show. it's Kevin yeah. Bacon. Short. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, next up, uh, Iron Man two. Iron Man two. Whiplash. There it is. Uh, Avengers zero point five. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, this is where I think that this started a lot of Marvel's problems of setting up mm-hmm. future things instead of focusing on the story at hand. Yep. Uh, and I think this really carried over a lot of the same problems from Iron Man 1 where they just kind of were flying by the seat of their pants. Yeah. Uh, John Favreau, who still does this with Mandalorian stuff sometimes, was like, we have a script, yeah. but ad-lib. Yeah, yeah. And it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. I am also disappointed in the way that they adapted 
the demon in the bottle storyline yeah. from the comics. Mm -hmm. I understand why. Which is what? Uh, that that is uh, Tony Stark's uh, a battle with alcoholism. That yeah. is one of his big character right things in the comics, which is great. I understand. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's a battle great story. No, no, hundred. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, no, yeah, that, right. that was a funny phrasing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> which is great. He's dealing with his alcoholism, which is great. It's a good story. <laughs> to clarify. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And this movie was trying to do a lot. The, yes. the villain is not memorable no. at all. Um, the secondary villain is more memorable <clears throat> than the primary oh, villain. Hammer? Hammer, yeah. Yeah. Bring him back. Right? Bring what him happened back. to him, man? He was great. Yeah, it, Thunderbolts is right there. Anyway. <laughs> no, it's true. That'd be amazing if he... Anyway. Yeah, uh, as a crappy Iron Man. Yeah. Anyway, I would... There's also War Machine. Oh, yeah, he's in this movie. That's like the first <laughs> War Machine, I think. Yeah, um, and they have the, the whole joke about let's put all the guns on me. Yes, uh-huh. Um, he's the gun guy, yeah. I would person... I'm... Is it better or worse than Incredible Hulk? <laughs> I would <laughs> say... I would put this lower than Incredible Hulk because at least Incredible Hulk was a solitary, self-contained story, yeah. whereas this was setting up more things. That's interesting. I was <clears> I was <throat> gonna put it as D uh, on the same level as Incredible yeah. Hulk, just because I think there are definitely parts that are weaker. Villains super weak. It's it's much more forgettable to me than Incredible Hulk. I think Incredible Hulk does more interesting stuff with like the monster horror, body horror. Yeah, but. Hulk has its weaknesses. This one has different weaknesses, mm -hmm. but I think that they are both equally weak. <laughs> I'd agree with that. Equally weak. Let, yeah, equally weak. So for different <laughs> reasons, though. So let's put a D if that you're okay sure, with that yeah. for now, and then we can always bump it down because he's like, I mean, it's one step away from. Uh, from, from, from that's, that's, that's way down there. Uh, okay, next up. <clears throat> next up is Thor. Oh, the original Thor. Thor one. All the Dutch angles. This one was like really Shakespearean. It was Shakespearean because uh, in, in that original DC script, this was one of the ones I pointed out as like, this is a weird Shakespearean movie. Yeah, it is. It's so strange. And then they were like, what if it's Shakespeare set in New Mexico? Yeah, right. It, it, it's got a lot going for it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I, I knew Kevin uh, Kenneth Branagh, not personally, but like I knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> me, my boy me, Kenneth. My, me and Ken. <laughs> Come Kenny. <laughs> Kenny B. Not to be confused with his uh, Kenny G, uh, which he, he feels very strongly about uh, people getting him confused. Uh, but no, Kenneth Branagh, from my theater days, right, you hear a lot about Kenneth yeah. Branagh. He's a famous theater. Shakespearean actor. Yeah, very famous in the Shakespearean world. Yeah. So to then come over and see like, oh, there's a Thor, you know, there's a Thor thing and it's directed by this guy who does Shakespeare. So of course, everything is like this heightened language yeah. and feels very like grandiose. And it's, it's, it is, it's very Shakespearean in its presentation. But then also at an angle, uh, <laughs> and then and then you know, and then once you get out of Asgard, and yeah, you're in the New Mexico it's desert. A very strange choice that has roots in the at, at the time in the comics. Asgard had been destroyed and was in yeah. that part of America, which yeah. is interesting choice to incorporate that into the movie so early. Yes, right. Yeah, it seems like you just start introducing this alternate world of like space Vikings. Yeah. And then it's like, you know what, though? Let's ignore the space Vikings. Let's just go hang out in the Do desert. Do we have a budget for a whole movie? <laughs> yeah, so that's what it is. You can see, like, the budgetary constraints, and you're like, or <laughs> empty desert. It's a thing. Yeah. Old <laughs> diner. That'll save us some cash. I Overall, though, I do think the movie's fun. Yeah, 100%. Uh, it... Middle of the road, I would yeah. say. It's a, it's a, it takes itself a little bit too self-serious. Mm -hmm. uh, it's... It, it lacks a really solid villain or, like you know, like... Oh, yeah, Lo Loki, who is, like, more of a... Loki's, like, there, Duro but... antagonist more than yeah, a... Yeah, right, he's... A he, protagonist. Right, he's protagonist, yeah. He's <clears throat> he's there, but he's not really, like, a really super strong villain. Yeah, so the villain was, like, that suit of armor yeah, it's with literally of, no personality. It's the suit of armor at the end, and, it, <clears throat> and even the suit of armor is, like, the most boring designed CGI monstrosity ever. It has no face. It's got the little, like, vents... The little slots that yeah, open. Yeah, it shoots like an energy beam. Yeah, that, yeah, and it's an energy beam. It's so, it, it's a pretty weak. And, but I like, but again, like, for as weak as that is, the true story arc is Thor proving his worthiness, right? Yeah. And learning what it means to, to be respect, worthy. Like, like, embracing mortality in a way yeah. that uh, proves him worthy of immortality. Right, which yeah. I think is a solid, again, like, when you're looking at narrative storytelling, it's a good setup for a character. I immediately know who he is. It follows that arc in a sensible way, which again, yeah. like the idea of creating <clears throat> stories that just make sense and have satisfying arcs and payoffs 
is something that tends to get lost as we go down here. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say oh, yeah, C. C tier. I yeah. agree. C tier. Uh, next up. Uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. Ah, first Avenger! I, I, I think this is a super fun movie for its time. It, it's, it's a first row in the middle right there. First row in the middle. There, uh, no, uh, Civil War. Right there, there it is. Yeah, okay. Um, yes. I, I, okay, first of all, I love that they just embraced what people actually like about Captain America, which is the same thing people like about Superman. Yeah. Unironically good, yes. fun, like yeah, I'm I'm here to help save the world. I'm gonna punch Hitler in the face. Yeah, right. Can, uh -huh. I, say, can I say that? Punch Hitler in the face? Yeah, sure, of okay. course. YouTube is crazy. Sometimes. Uh, you know, I, you know, we'll, we'll get it reviewed in advance. We'll see okay. what happens. Okay, fair enough. If, if not, we'll just blurp. We'll, we'll just blurp it. Punch Mer in the face. <laughs> punch, punch. Yeah. So we're punching. evil, evil person in the face, like auto tune voice. <laughs> Text to speech. Microsoft Sam. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and they got uh, the guy who directed The Rocketeer to do yes. this movie. Yeah. Which uh -huh. I think perfect vibe mm -hmm. for what this was, which was, that was smart. the Indiana Jones esque yep. early World War adventure. Mm -hmm. I for what this movie was trying to do, I think it succeeds really well. Yep. As a movie, it suffers from a lot of early Marvel. Yep. Oh god, we don't have a bunch of budget. We have to yeah. We have a timeline we have to hit. Yep. But overall, I I would say it is one of the better movies of Phase One, along yep. with Iron Man. Yep. I would say it's as good as Iron Man, but mm -hmm. it's it's solid. Really, don't think it's as good because to <clears throat> me, I think I the character of Steve Rogers is so endearing and so mm -hmm. well set up that the reason I f I feel like the reason that Robert Downey Jr. Uh, is able to carry everything is is much in the same way that um, Chris Evans. Evans, thank you. Uh, Chris Evans is also like they do such a good job of setting up who these characters are from the get go yeah, that they then become the thread that pulls everything else along. Also, at the time, I don't know if you guys are even old enough to remember, but uh, <laughs> back, in the, back in my back day. in my day, Chris Evans was the not another teen movie. I remember when he got cast as this role, people were like. That the guy. Human Torch? <laughs> yeah. As Captain America? Yeah. And he has really proven himself as... Yeah. No, he's... I, I have range. I am an actor. Right? He is an actor. So, to me, I would actually list this one... And, and from an enjoyability factor, I, I think Iron Man is really good. I actually enjoy watching Captain America better. Interesting. Okay. I mean... I think, I think both of them suffer from, like, a weak third act. But, like, Red Skull... Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know. Um, also, this is one of the... Low key, one of the best casts. Yes, like Tommy Lee Jones it's and great. Hugo Weaving yeah. are in There's, this movie. It's real solid. It's real solid. Um, I like it playing with like hist history told across time. Mm -hmm. I think it pays off a lot of stuff. I I like this one. I would list this one in A, right alongside Iron Man. You seem like you're a B. Uh, let's go with A below Iron Man, and if we need to bump it down, I am, there, I'm cool with that. Like a like a. <laughs> Somewhere okay. in there. So, so <laughs> B plus plus. Next so. up is the Avengers. Oh, the first one. The one that changed it all. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh man. Uh fascinating movie because parts of it feel like a TV show because mm. they hired a TV show director. Yeah. And I think overall it works. Mm. It feels a little bit like a high budget Power Rangers movie to me. <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, no, that's that, not a bad. Thing. That is Lee's objective opinion. Put that on the Wikipedia. High budget, High budget Power, Power Rangers. <laughs> not that it's that's a bad thing. Uh, yeah, sure. It, it, they kind of really dot dot dot. Not that it's a bad thing. Uh, direct they, quote. They embrace the like. This is our faceless villain yeah. thing, and mm -hmm. we have the the leader in colorful colors, and everyone yeah. has their own colorful costume, mm -hmm. and we have to learn to fight as a team, guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sure. Uh. uh it it was fun. I there are much stronger Avengers movies. Yeah, I would much, I would agree with and that. much weaker Avengers and movies. And weaker as well, yes. Um totally fine. I would put this as B maybe C. Wow, C. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, again, looking at it in context, what it was able to pull off is really impressive. It's also very important context. Yeah, I was going to say like the the ambition of this project was really big and I think the writing that bounced character that that stayed true to the personalities of the characters established elsewhere but you know it stayed true to them and they the interactions felt organic to who yeah. these people were and i and again as we get later it's one of those things that i think has gotten like 
kind of muddy. lost in time, yeah. where now now it's all the quippy. Like you hear it all the time in, in video essays critiquing Marvel at this point. Oh, the it's quippy the quippy, humor. the quippy dialogue. Here it was quippy, but it made sense because you know Thor was acting in the th- way Thor would act yeah. versus <laughs> Captain America versus Iron Man. They are three different personalities, and they're butting heads yeah, against each other. And their quippy humor were jokes that would make sense for them. The and, and how many memes got birthed out of this? Yeah, that absolutely. man is playing Galaga. Right, exactly. Or, I understood that reference. It's it, it single handedly. Yeah. It single handedly also boosted the the I don't know people wanting to eat shawarma. Uh, <laughs> so that's yeah, true. Shawarma. That's, look it up. That was a fact. Yeah, right. Yeah, people... uh, they filmed that after the premiere. That's wait, really? I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, they filmed that scene after the premiere. That's awesome. That's Which, really cool. Fun fact. So, so to me, like I think the the writing. I, I forget the context sometimes. Yeah, I think important. the I think the writing holds up. I think the characterization holds up. I think the the narrative arc holds up. I think Loki at the time was the most interesting villain that they had done, and okay, yeah, you know, yeah, so like to me, I I feel like I'm putting a lot of these early ones in A. Don't worry, <laughs> I'll correct for later because <laughs> my my viewpoint is gonna go downhill <laughs> in a hurry. Um, but to me, I would put it in A. Personally, I think there's some weaknesses in the script and this and that and and slow bits and like you said, there yeah. are, there are moments that don't quite resonate. But I, I would list this like that. Though these three are the reason why MCU kind of launched off into what it was. All right. Can can I convince you? No. Well, let's go B. B. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I. We'll meet in the you, middle. You have. You, say again. Uh, we'll meet in the middle. I said. Yes. Yes. Uh, I. You pulled me up out of C. Okay. I sometimes. Forget the context of yeah. oh yeah no one had done this before. yeah it was completely that, new. and that's huge yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's it's funny I am I I seem like I'm more of the like character scripting guy and you're more of the like cinema guy <laughs> how did it look how did uh, it feel yeah uh, my bud Martin Scorsese and me uh, talk yeah. about these movies a lot yeah. And- <laughs> Are, is it cinema though? Right. Is it Kino? Oh man. Oh no. Oh no. Right. Oh, I was no. right. I'm like oh man. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, we got a we got a good old film critic next to me. This is like you're the film guy. Um, oh yes. Uh, I was gonna move on. No, no, please. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's All right. Uh, next one I think might cause some controversy. Ooh, okay. Uh-oh. Iron Man three. Okay. Iron right. Man three. I th- We're starting now. Okay, controversy, go. I think this is a great movie. Okay. Uh, I think Shane Black had a vision for what he wanted to do. Yep. Uh, he wanted to tell this heist sort of... Uh, reverse heist mm-hmm. story. Ooh, with, reverse with, heist. Uh-huh. With Iron Man and his life falling apart and him realizing what's actually important, which they immediately throw out the window. Yeah, they throw out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Continuity. What's, what? What's actually important in his life and growing as a person and giving up this mm-hmm. what he thought he wanted for what he actually needs in his life. Yeah. It it is a solid story in that regard. Yep. Uh, it's also a Christmas movie, and mm-hmm. I love me a Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. The Mandarin's an awful villain. I'm mm-hmm. glad they fixed him later. <laughs> okay. Cool. So where would you put it? I would put this above Avengers and B. Okay. Interesting. Uh, for me, I. I I actually agree with you. I like. Okay. I, I would actually yeah. put it at B. Yeah. Um, I'm 100. I, I I feel like we should acknowledge people do not like this movie. I know. Yeah, people. I and I don't know if that was just the hype at the time, mm-hmm. and and maybe in retrospect, people might feel differently about it. Uh, I know a lot of people were upset about the twist reveal. Spoiler alert: that the Mandarin, the Big Bad, was actually a TV actor who was put up on camera, yeah. and it wasn't him the whole time. Um, and it was actually this this other yeah, this character that was created by Aldrich Killian. Yeah, who? It's, yeah. Who? So so here's the thing, right? Um, I think the this is back in the day when the MCU had continuity uh, that made sense, <laughs> and so you're coming off of Avengers where he's like, I stared into the void of space and I almost threw away my life to protect. The world, right? Yeah. Like, he, he flies through the, the wormhole or whatever to try and save the world, and it's only by, you know, luck slash, like, a last-minute save that he's his life is spared, right? And so, Avengers, or uh, Iron Man 3 starts with him dealing with the PTSD of that moment. Yeah. And I think that, again, to your point about alcohol, alcoholism is a cool story, I think <laughs> watching him deal with that story and as grappling... As a human. As a human... Yeah. Is really interesting. This guy who started in Iron Man and like I'm cocky and whatever, and has been slowly beaten down and broken down, and, and tries to have to figure out what he is. Yeah. 
I think that's a really compelling story. I think the idea of destroying all his Iron Man suits and re- basically resetting him back to zero. Yeah. And he having to rely on just his smarts to that, solve the problems that's, of that's the That's one of the best scenes in the movie. It's amazing. He's infiltrating the, the, the compound. Yeah. And he's like, I have all the stuff I got at Home Depot. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and that's the thing, right? Is it, it took away all the trappings of the character. It stripped away all the like the suits and the technology and, and it got back to the core of who he is yeah. as a human, how he can die, how he's smart and how he can, the reason he's as successful as he is is because he was able to smartly figure out his way and, and solve all these problems. And you see that and it's cool. And I think the twist of the Mandarin, again, it's one of those things that it plays with the idea of media and what you're being yeah. shown might be a lie or misleading. Really ahead of its time. Yeah. Even. I thought that, again, it was edgy and interesting and thought provoking in a way that a lot of, I think, people kind of just overlooked um, or didn't want to, like, accept because they thought the Mandarin was one thing. Agreed 100%. I'm Aldrich Killian and I'm like a fire demon, genetically engineered guy. Stupid, dumb, that, real dumb. That, that had another Marvel. <laughs> This was the beginning of the Marvel problem where they combined too many of yeah. their stories into yep. one. Because that, that is a different plot line than the Mandarin plot line. Hmm. That's interesting. And, but yeah, no, that didn't, yeah. didn't work. It was stupid. So like, that's why I would list it as a B as opposed to an A. Because that really weighs it down. Yeah. But all the stuff around Iron Man himself, really solid. Okay, right. I'd agree. Next yep. one. Next. Cool. Uh, Thor the Dark World. <laughs> the only Marvel movie. Uh, no, sorry. There's two Marvel movies I've fallen asleep during during my first <laughs> watch. That was one. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, that's my Thor take. The Dark World commits the biggest sin a movie can commit, in my opinion, mm-hmm. and that I didn't care. Yeah, not at all. It, it is, I did not have a strong opinion negatively. Ooh, uh, like, yeah. like, I'm the guy in the skin and rink video that gave it a zero, but at least I have, <laughs> oh, an, at least I have an opinion yeah, about it. Right, you, you know? have an opinion. It made Thor The Dark so. World is like, I don't care about this. They wasted yep. a great actor as the villain. Yep. They wasted a great character as the villain. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's it's like what the, the best stuff Dark in the elves. movie. Yeah. yeah, the best stuff in the movie is their brotherly relationship, yes, which does not nearly get enough time. Yeah, Loki. Yeah, Loki and Thor. Like this should have been the movie about Loki and Thor as brothers. Yeah. and what that means for them, how their relationship evolves and grows and changes, and there's bits of it in there that go nowhere. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and this is this is also when they start doing the whole like he's dead, he's not dead, he's dead, he's not yeah. dead, he's dead, he's not dead. <laughs> which like the first time it's like whoa that's impactful. But by the fifth time, you're like, is he? Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. And I would not count that against this no, movie in particular, because no, this was the first it one the where first, they were yes. like, oh, we have explicitly killed him. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, yeah. nudge. Uh, this is one of the movies I feel very confident saying this is F. Ooh, F. Wow. F. Was, this movie fails. Okay, I, I, I'll i go with you there. I, I fell asleep during it. It's not great. Um, I would probably... Oh, wait, there's that whole section that's setting up future... Oh, yeah. Wait, no. Is that even in this movie? No, no, that, that was Age of Ultron. That, that was Age of Ultron. Another the, the dream boring, sequence. Uh, another boring whole the, part. The hot My tub bad. Sequence. Yeah. <laughs> it Thor, really was though. Thor, Thor the in hot, hot tub time tub. machine. Yeah, the <laughs> Thor in a hot tub. Being like, whoa, I'm having visions <laughs> of things that never pay off, but we'll get people talking about it online. We'll theorize <laughs> about it, sure. Okay, I'll, I'll give you an F. I, I would have maybe knocked it an E, but yeah, it's <clears> I don't I don't. Here's the thing. I don't care enough about the Thor of the Dark World <laughs> and to that's defend the Thor of the Dark World, which that's is the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Actually, I would give it as an F because the whole last act is like completely unintelligible because it's just a bunch of like a uh, particle effect and portals. Yeah. And it, it was it's so blurry and dusty and red. And gray. And gr- yeah, red and gray. Oh. And it's hideous. No, you're right. The final battle is yeah. uh, like unwatchable, if I remember right. And so, yeah, no. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on, only... Only redeeming part of that is the the joke where Cat Dennings is like, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yeah. There was like one or two couple things in there the that's like, oh, yeah. humor, yeah, the, right. There it is. Okay, next, next, that Captain America, Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier, yes. This is one of the best movies Marvel has made. Agreed, in my opinion. 100%. I, one, the complete reinvention, not of of not reinvention of Steve Rogers the character, but Captain America yep. the character, and taking that character that was supposed like birthed in this time of very patriotic Mm -hmm. like we're all coming together to fight the unequivocal bad guy yep and putting that character into a modern time where Mm -hmm. a lot of people don't trust modern society yeah 100 percent. and yeah your institutions are lying to you your institutions have failed you yeah even you know people with this like i have goodwill and faith and everything getting beaten down and broken down by the system 
And, and what does it mean to be Captain America yep. in a world like today? Yep. Which I think was a question they had to answer for this character. Yeah. Because it's not just a, I'm going to go along with whatever mm -hmm. person in power yeah. <laughs> says. And No, he, the, again, yeah. I think across all the movies, and, and again, this is why Tony Stark and Steve Rogers' stories are so compelling for those first phases, yeah. is because they actually go through, like, not only are they going through individual arcs in their individual movies, Iron Man 2 accepted, mm. um, <laughs> but they're also going through larger arcs yes. across the movies. And so you have this, like, I'm Steve Rogers in the first one. I'm, I'm scrawny, but look at me. Look, look at me grow and deal with powers and what does it mean to be responsible and this and that. But now all of a sudden it's like, I've achieved this, but now it's kind of being taken away. Or, like, I'm, I'm starting to have to question my, like, undying loyalty to a yeah. system and stuff like that. It's great. And then you see him have to come back from that in, like, Infinity <clears throat> War and Civil War. And, like, he, if you map out Iron Man and Captain America's arcs throughout the entire, like, first phases of this, they're great. They're great yeah. across the board. Also, great fights. Yes, uh, Great reincorporation of Bucky as a character. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Back in, like, the early 2000s, there were, like, three characters that you can never bring back. Mm -hmm. And it, it was, like, Uncle Ben, mm -hmm. Gwen Stacy, yeah. Bucky. Oh, funny, yeah. And the Winter Soldier sense. story brought Bucky back, and it, like, no one thought it would work. Mm -hmm. No one thought it didn't. Yeah. Which oh, that's cool. Really cool to see that, that cool. adapted into a movie so quickly, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And great, great movie. I'd give this one an S. Woo! Okay, I'd, I'd, I'd rank it at. So my question is, do I like it better than Captain America, <laughs> the original? Yes, I do. So yeah, I'll, I'll give it an S. Yeah, Perfect. That makes yeah. sense. Next. Next is, I should have prepared. I'm but, sorry. Right, Next sorry. is Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, okay. Oh, man, this is, this is an interesting one. All right. Yeah, Go for it. Uh, Weird movie in a really cool way. Okay. Like, Marvel was like, what if we did a Star War? Yeah, well, what is our Star War? Yeah. I want Star War. And this is another case of this team, mm -hmm. as this existed in the comics, w was made in like 2008. Yeah, that's interesting. Which is yeah. super interesting to see that turned around so fast. Real and they fast. completely reinvented almost in that time. Yeah. Because this movie's completely different, and I think arguably better mm -hmm. than, than the than team the... that exists in the comics. Is it is it the same composition of the team or no? Vaguely, yeah. Okay. Like uh, there are a couple additional members that come in and out. Yeah. Uh, it, what way to give a huge budget? And Marvel does this as well sometimes, hit and miss. To a guy whose last movie before this was what if Dwight from The Office dressed up as a superhero? <laughs> and, like, <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, I hadn't, uh, I, didn't, I hadn't considered that, but no, you're totally right. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Captain America was their previous thing was Community. Yeah, right, right. right. That's yeah. nuts. That's nuts. Uh, I I think it's a super fun space opera. And then they yeah, and then and then the Community guys go on and like change everything. And, yeah, right. I mean, Crazy. just knock it out of the ballpark. Good for them. Um, that being said, Community I mean, <laughs> deserves everything because Community is the best. Ooh, you have feelings. I noticed the, the oh no chain. oh okay no okay no. I, I, I I was you, thinking okay oh, can... I I I know you really like community so I have to get you back on track oh, yeah, tomorrow no, no, real fast no, okay. that was my feeling don't there. worry uh, I'm good. he's like oh no Matt's going <laughs> no, down community, a tangent yeah community's great don't worry like, you still you have a minute you have okay. a minute uh, I would say Guardians of the Galaxy really solid space opera I think they improve later mm. um somewhere between B and A for me I right. I'd probably settle in B yeah see that's the thing like for me I I I'd, I'd agree with B and A. And it's funny because we have Guardians 2 coming up. And Guardians 2, initially, I didn't like better than Guardians 1. But on my rewatch of a lot of these movies, I wound up liking it a lot more than I, uh, my initial pass on Guardians. Um, so the, it's, it's interesting. I, there are strengths and weaknesses in both. B or A was also my Guardians. Uh, and it's also one of the ones that if I'm actively looking to rewatch something just personally, that's one that I will go to. And I'm like, yeah, it I, helps that it's really it, arguably very disconnected. Yeah, it is. And it's, and it's fun and it's light, yeah. but also there's stakes at the end. I think I, I get all teary. We great are, music. With, with We Are Groot, great music. <laughs> Everyone holding hands at the end and doing the dance battle like gets me. Like it, it hits a lot of like, like my <clears throat> emotional triggers in that one. Um, well, since we're readjusting things, I'm going to put it at A right now, sure. but yeah. well, we can readjust based on... Uh, wait, we have A bell curve going on. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, we have A bell curve, <laughs> but we can readjust. All right, next. Uh, next is Avengers Age of Ultron. Mm, okay. Not great. <sighs> yeah, no, not great. I like this movie when it came out, and as 
it had, as time has gone on, and I feel like I've matured as a per- person yeah. and as a person who consumes and criticizes media. As a film critic. As a film critic. Uh, <laughs> it's no Akira Kurosawa. <laughs> <laughs> Just Sweden. But is it cinema? Is it Kino? What is it? <laughs> Would this be on the same par as Goodfellas? <laughs> It definitely good isn't. <laughs> a good fella. A good fella. <laughs> He's a good fella. Good yeah. Baby. Yeah, it uh tries to do too much. It does. This is the this is the first so you liked it when it came out. I didn't like it when it came out. Like I was really hyped for it. Uh obviously everyone was like this is the next one with Avengers in the name. It's so there was a lot of pressure riding on it, but this was the first time where the lore and the setup to the lore it wasn't even the lore. It was the setup. That, that doesn't work as well. The setup. The setup hampered down the story. Yeah. Like we need to do Hulkbuster armor, <clears throat> completely unrelated to everything else. And Hulk and Hulkbuster are fighting for some arbitrary reason. And we need Hulk to go off into space for some reason. And Ultron's here, but also, and it's this big threat. But yeah, we deal with him pretty quickly. Like it's just like this was one of those times. And. There's the Scarlet Witch, yeah, and she's and, and there. Quicksilver, and, gotta remember him, right? Yeah, I mean, there's that, so that, much. This, this was stuff. Ultron, great villain. Yes, a Marvel problem where they kill him too quick. Yeah, they uh, completely wasted him. Yeah, he was. He had the potential to be so interesting because it's the supercomputer that figures out how everyone's behaving. He's evil, Tony. Yeah, he's evil, Tony. It was. Yeah, it, it, yeah wasted. Absolutely wasted. Uh, Made of vibranium, <laughs> which. You know, should be a bigger deal than it is. I think it, he got the vibranium to make Vision, and Vision was made of vibranium. Wait, he wasn't made of vibranium the whole time? I don't think so. What is he made out of then? Just metal? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> he should have been smarter about it, because he dies way too fast. Yeah, yeah. Over, overall, wasted potential. Uh, Joss Whedon got down. too clever for his own good yes. and wrote this whole character arc for Hawkeye to die. Yeah. And then he was like, ha, I'll switch Roo last second. Actually, it's Quicksilver, who I think had more interesting powers, and that actor was going places. Yeah, Very rough. interesting choices, yeah. and I think most of them failed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would put this one. <sighs> Pressure's on. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, that's, no! that's your sound. Yeah, that's, that's your sound. Where well. is it? Where is it? Uh, I would put it in D, and I'd bump Iron Man 2 down. Ooh, I'm going to put it in E. Okay. Are you okay I, I mean, e? I'm I'm not going to defend this. Are you okay, movie. Are you okay with E? Yes, I'm okay. totally fine. I don't with think that. It, I don't think it outright fails. It, there's some <laughs> exciting action sequences. I think uh, great, some, great. The party scene, the after yeah. party scene. The after party the scene is the, the single best, yeah. like one of the one of the best. Mo- it has one of the best moments of yes. any MCU film. Yes. Period. That moment is great. Am I worthy? Great. Awesome. I I love. Uh, Steve Rogers was worthy in mm-hmm. that scene, scene Which is, and the reason he was worthy was because he was like, "Oh, I don't want to embarrass Thor. So I'm right. going to yeah. pretend I can't move it." So cool. Love it. Yeah, it the the detail there, amazing. Everything. Interesting ideas. Way too overstuffed. You start to feel yes. it hampered down with things. Yes. Okay, next. Ant Man. Oh, Ant Man. Ant Man. I like this one a lot yeah. more than most people gave credit for. I think it's a super fun heist movie. Yep. And it maybe needed some more time in the oven. Mm-hmm. I, I, well, didn't it go through like three different directors or yeah, something Yeah, this was like an Edgar Wright movie originally. Which I think Edgar Wright, for those of you who don't know... One actually, of the best directors one of the best today. 100%. I love yeah. his work. I think he's fantastic. Almost every movie that he's done, I'm like, yes, that was a great movie. Yeah. There's like one or two that I'm like, yeah. Not, the fact not that the best, he but. didn't do this, ended up not doing this, uh, gave us Scott Pilgrim, so I'm okay with it. Really? I didn't yes. know. Th- really? Yeah, I didn't know that. He, he went from this to Scott Pilgrim. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, so, you know, you you win some, you lose some. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, what, full I, do wonder, crate. <laughs> I do wonder what... This movie would have looked like as an Edgar Wright movie. Uh, probably would have been S tier. <laughs> I was going to say. I think. Yeah, it would have been amazing. Uh, it is still his story. Really? Yeah. The, the, like, it's not the same script, yep. but you, he gets a story credit in mm-hmm. this, and he was always like, Hank Pym should be old, and yep. it should be Scott Lang, yep. and it should be a heist. Great from that, which which is what it, it, and, and what it, what it is. ended up being, and it works. Yeah. So overall, I think this one's fun. Mm-hmm. It, it's not groundbreaking. Mm-hmm. I would say solid C. Yeah, I would agree. I think it's it, I think it's funny. I think it knows what it is, which yes. I appreciate. Uh, it knows it's a heist movie. It knows it's kind of weightless, but it's it's fun and funny and Paul Rudd inspired casting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's he's brilliant. Uh, again, the characters make a lot of sense. They do the things that I expect them to do. The and and again, early Marvel did fun fight sequences in the end. The yeah. fight sequence 
of them being tiny in in, in the child's bedroom, in the, a child's bedroom, <laughs> and oh no, it's a giant train coming at them. And then it just flops <laughs> over. I laughed so hard. And, yeah. and again, that was the sort of creativity that made these movies work so well back in the day and got yeah. me so excited. I'm like, I was so excited for so many of the final battles of these things. So I'm like, that's, that They're is brilliant. Very creative. They're always, yeah. they were, back then, they were like very creative. And so that, that was a great moment. Um, is it at the level of, say, like... <clears throat> These these are more ambitious movies, right? Like I think yeah. these are early movies. This was a tough one to pull off, and they do. These are ambitious movies. This is just a solid, fun watch. I think I definitely think it's better than Thor. I'd agree with that, hundred percent. But you know, I, I think like it's fine. It, it is it is a fun watch. It's one of those that like you turn on the TV if you actually watch traditional media, and you see it on. Sunday afternoon and it's playing. You're like, oh, man, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. man, I'll let that play. I'll yeah. let the, look at him riding the ant. That's kind of fun. Oh, Anthony, Anthony. Di- yeah, yeah, Anthony died. Oh, that's Aww. sad. Yeah. Oh, he's running away from the bathroom. This was the one that played with the shrink mechanics and the, the Honey I Shrunk the Kids yeah. aesthetic, the best. Which you should do because it's Ant Man, yeah, and that's, that's fun. the whole shtick. That's the whole shtick, and it's so fun. And there's so many interesting possibilities that you could do with that. I, I appreciated it for that. Okay, next, yeah, Captain America: Civil War. Civil War. Okay. Uh, again, I think Avengers 2.5. Yep. And way yeah. better than Avengers 2. Yes, 100%. Um, this this should have been, this should have been yeah. Avengers 2. This to me is Avengers 2. Like, Age of Ultron <laughs> exists. I never, I'm like, <laughs> I never ex- want to rewatch Age yeah. of Ultron. <laughs> yeah, I never want to acknowledge that Age of Ultron exists because to me, Civil War is Avengers 2, which I think says yeah. a lot for, for it. Yeah, it, its quality is great. Uh, brought Spider Man in, yep. which again, there were versions of this movie that did not have Spider-Man. Right, which is interesting. Uh, continues to develop every character arc that's important. Yep. Like, yes, Steve and Tony, but also Bucky yep. and and Scarlet Witch and Vision yep. and uh, Falcon. Yeah, Be right. better, Lee. Come on. Yeah, come I couldn't on, remember his be, name. <laughs> be better, Senator. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think it continued all of that yes. really, really well. It is not as good as Winter Soldier, I think, but that, that also caught lightning in a bottle. Right, yeah. Um, I agree. I would, me, for me, this is how I would say it's yes. be, obviously better than Avengers 1. Yep. Um, I would agree with that. I would say it's also better than Guardians of the Galaxy 2, but to put it there, I would bump Guardians down to B. Okay. I would put it in A and bump Guardians down to B. That is what I would do. Yeah, here. I agree with that. I, I agree with that, actually. I, Civil War... For, for years, when people ask me what my favorite Marvel movies are, Civil War is always mm-hmm. on my list. Because um, the idea of these established heroes fighting each other, and not it feel, and it doesn't feel arbitrary. It, which, it doesn't feel contrived. No, it's like, not like Batman v Superman. Like, <laughs> Martha! <laughs> anything that's even a remote threat needs to be considered a full threat, or whatever. <laughs> I think that's a stupid line. Like, I mean, yeah, like, they genuinely built up these characters yes. to have this disagreement over a long time. It felt like they thought about it, even yes. though, as yeah. we said in the film theory recently, yeah. they were like, uh-huh, yeah. what? Civil War? Right. I, I do have a little bit of pause that, like, Tony Stark becomes, like, an agent of the government in a lot of ways. Like, I, I think that there's, I'm like, eh, I, I can squint and see it. I, I feel like that bit could have been explained better. But, like, you see how people would fall on their ethical lines. Yeah. And I, the, the battle sequence in the airport is fantastic. Yeah. It's so good. And and this was, again, if you're talking about firsts in, in these movies and, like, for, like, these are pivotal moments in the evolution of what the MCU is, this is the first time it's, like, we have a bunch of action figures with different <laughs> power. Well, but not just doing this, right? It's we have different action figures, and they all have their own special, interesting powers. Yeah. Let's use them in fun and I, interesting I'm gonna ways. I'm going to use my laser beams. Oh yeah, well I'm going to grow really big and and punch you with an airplane. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, well I'm Spider Man. Right. Yeah. And so this was the first movie where it felt like the powers crossing over, yeah. and you're like, oh, this is the fight that I want to see, that I've never gotten to see, and it was thoughtfully done. Yeah. I think, again, as you get later, the idea of like, do, no, 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 oh, and action scene done. Like, this was the moment where you saw powers bouncing off of each other in interesting, creative ways, which they continue for a while, and, and that was so exciting. So that's cool. Storyline makes sense. Villain is like, I'm going to make them mad at each other, and it's like, okay, great. You know, that's... That's, yeah, that's he, not the best. He has potential for more... At least they didn't kill him. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he has potential for other stuff. 
uh, the Iron Man versus uh, Cap fight, really solid. Like, just yeah. across the board, really solid. I agree with A. It's yep. always one of my favorites. Doctor Strange is Ah, next. Doctor Strange! This Doc- is actually Stephanie's favorite in the MCU. Uh, fascinating. Yep. Interesting. I think Doctor Strange is... It, it falls into that category of very ambitious, mm-hmm. and yeah. I I think it gets points for that. Yep, it I it feels like they were trying to do Iron Man again, and I get why mm. they're very similar characters. Yeah, they are. and they were introducing like, hey, there's magic actually, right, right, and it's not just weird science; it's actual magic. Yep. So I get why they were doing that. I I think it works. Yeah. I. And, you know, it, it's always interesting in retrospect to say, oh, they should have gone full mm-hmm. on and, and, no, really leaned hard into the magic instead yeah. of, sure, you know, Iron Man, mm-hmm. but with magic. And in retrospect, I don't think that would have worked. Yeah. So it, it's solid. Introduced this character. No one knew who a Doctor Strange was before this. Right, no, and now he's and, risen to become, I mean, Tony Stark 2.0. Yeah, but, but, he, but also, yeah. like, he immediately endeared himself to the yes. audience where people saw this movie being like, yeah, I guess I'll check this out. And they're like, oh, that guy's cool. Yeah. Which I think similar to Guardians in that way, right? Where it was like, I've never heard of these things, but I guess I'll go see a Marvel. Again, this was the era where we all had trust in Marvel. And yeah. we're like, might as well check it out because it's got the Marvel brand. And it was like, whoa, that was cool. That was awesome. I like that guy. Very visually interesting. Oh movie. my gosh. Like taking the idea of Inception and being like, oh, we can do that, but... More. The, yeah. The, the some of the dimension. like trippy dream sequences yeah. and stuff. Yeah. The, so the mirror dimension, really solid for the battle sequences. The like I'm just getting pushed through my like psychedelic yeah, my zone. Chakra. My chakra <laughs> stuff. Unlock the chakra. Really solid. Um I think again, like you said, he has a similar arc, if not a harder arc to pull off than Tony, where Tony people like the the arrogant, you know, like, you know, I'm the arrogant billionaire guy. Like yeah. it, so you already kind of like him, and then seeing him become like a, a decent person is is cool. I feel like Benedict Cumberbatch had a harder job there because not only is he like I'm the arrogant doctor, but he's like kind of a dislikable yeah. doctor. Like, yeah, he's the arrogant that's like I don't like you at yeah. the beginning of this movie. Yeah, he's the arrogant jerk. Yes, who by the end perfect. is like, yeah. oh yeah, you're cool. Whereas yeah, you've grown as a person. Yeah, it's different from like arrogant playboy versus arrogant jerk. And and he was a jerk at the beginning where I'm like I don't like this guy, but then by the end you're like oh yeah, he did a character arc. Yeah, <laughs> he did a he did an he, arc. He did he. There was writing. Yeah, and and visually it's spectacular. <laughs> And, and again, it's one of those where, the last, last thing I'll say because I heard the timer go off, it's one of those where they could have gone the easy route and said, like, magic battle! But instead it's like, time stone, Dormammu have come to bargain, Dormammu have yeah, come to bargain, was, which yeah. is such a smart, creative way out of the problem. Well, it also gave them an excuse to give him a huge power bump later right. in the movie, because like, he could have been doing that for hundreds of thousands of years. Right, exactly. But, yeah. Um, so, I, so I, I would say B. I would agree with B. Where are you at, Doctor? Uh, it, he's it's the red orange circle. Red right orange there. circle. Yeah, right there. He is. Oh yeah, yep. I'm, I'm on him. Okay, the one yeah. that you're on. Yeah, B. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's right. That feels about right. Uh, okay, next. Next is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. This okay. was a, another. Uh, I feel like a controversial opinion I have. Yeah. This is one of my favorite Marvel movies. Ooh. Okay. I love the story of found family and mm-hmm. I, I recognize that in myself. <laughs> yeah. That's which is this franchise. As, yeah. As that's a, right. Right. In the, uh, right also in the personal family history mm-hmm. of like, Oh, a father figure. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually I had this one <laughs> the whole time. This whole time. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I think Peter's arc is great. Yep. Um, Kurt Russell inspired casting yeah. as this character who loves those sort of actors that mm-hmm. he's deified in his mind. Yeah. Inspired casting as the the shady <laughs> dad right. character. Yeah. Uh, shady dad. Uh-huh. <laughs> a lot of awesome sci-fi ideas. They evolved Nebula as a character in interesting ways. Right. Uh, Rocket's arc continues to be great. Yep. Uh, I understand this is not everyone's opinion. I rank this as S. Wow! I love this movie. Really? I, I, going into this, I recognize it will probably not end up an S mm-hmm. if you do not agree with me. Right. Because that is a hard thing to... That is hard. ...to uh, uh, ask for when <laughs> I recognize that yeah. this works for me so well because it ticks so many boxes I like. So it's interesting, right? This one is one of the few that I went back on my rewatch of things and liked more mm-hmm. my second time. The first time I was like, it's, it, 
it felt like we were, it was an, to me, it felt like an unbalanced movie where what worked about Guardians 1 was seeing all of these characters together and bouncing yeah. off each other. This one very clearly separates off Peter and Gamora from like yeah. everyone yeah, else. And so, and then you have like the Drax Mantis adventure, you know, like you. <laughs> and, and then and, the, the rocket self realization adventure. Right. Yeah. And so this one fell. What I, when I first watched it, I'm like, I miss seeing this team together that I really liked in the first movie bouncing off each other, and now they're all separated, and that made me sad. Um, and so walking out of the movie the first time, I'm like, it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it, but did I like it as much as Guardians 1? No. On rewatch, though, the, the narratives that are being told are really strong. And, and like you called out, Peter's arc is really solid in a way that and i don't know maybe it's that i'm a dad now <laughs> maybe that was the difference hey, or something people like change that. over their lives yeah it's, no i, I mean yeah. maybe that is but the idea of like relationships between fathers and sons and stuff it hits me in a, a different way now i guess um and and seeing yeah peter realize like it was there the whole time and the the send-off and stuff that was one of the most beautiful moments for a char- that a character has received yeah you know as far as, <laughs> and it was yondu yes and it's yondu right <laughs> Who, who, to be fair, like a weird, awesome. yeah, a great character. Just like interesting that this is the character that got, yeah, that got beautiful there. moment. Yeah, it's it's so gorgeous, and and seeing like it's not just found family with Yondu and Peter, but it's found family with the Guardians, and it's not just found family with them, but it's found family with all the scavengers, yeah, and the community of scavengers all celebrating him and stuff. Like it's really it it really hits home in the final. Would I rate it as an S? Oh, I wish they were together more. Like. But then they have the final battle, and they're blowing up the planet Ego, and that's really solid. Um, I recognize this is probably not an S. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to say, I, I'll give you a high A. Totally can fair. Can I give you a high I think A? that's totally fair. I, so, like, I'm starting to realize that I can put them this way. So if this is S, and then it's like, oh, let's, let's kind of go sure, down. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll balance <clears> these out. I haven't figured these out yet. Okay. But yeah, Guardians, solid. Okay. On rewatch, I was like, this is great. I'm in- cautiously optimistic for Guardians 3. Cautiously yeah. optimistic. I- We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, next is Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, Spider-Man Homecoming! <sighs> Saved this IP. It's the... Yeah. Where is it, actually? Right, where is that one? Uh, Homecoming, there it is. Yeah, okay. Yep, there it is. Basically, people forget how bad a way Spider-Man was in after uh, the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Yeah, that that as well. The uh, the Spider Man three followed by Amazing Spider Man followed by Amazing Spider Man two, and they were trying to copy Amazing the MCU. Spider- and Amazing Spider Man's rough, man. Yeah, you know, they tried to get like incorporate that into the MCU. Did they really? Yeah, and they were they were working out a deal to have the Oscorp building in Avengers one. Really? Yeah, and it just it fell apart last <sighs> yeah, minute. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh wow. Yeah, that. Um, I just imagine the Dane DeHaan Green guy go- like. I've, I've lost half my hair, green guy. Go- oh, it was on my, like, hover skateboard. <laughs> oh, I'm Dean DeHaan, and I'm the goblin now. It's like, what happened here? Yeah. And- Give me your blood, Peter. I need the spider cure. Okay. And, and, and this movie turned, turned everything around. around. We're like, hey, I'm a bad CGI monster. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, this movie turned Spider-Man around and yep. made him back into a billion-dollar IP. Yeah. Uh... The fact that they got Michael Keaton to be in another comic book movie, yeah, right? <laughs> after like, it, not that he like disliked being Batman, yeah. but he really strikes me as the type who's like, I'm, I'm, that's dumb. I'm yeah. not doing that again. It's so funny that Michael Keaton, like, he can't escape <laughs> winged superheroes. <laughs> it's like he obviously Michael Keaton was Batman back in the day, and then they like come back and be Birdman in this artsy <laughs> take of you as a superhero, and he's like, well, you know. Basically, yeah, get me, co- get me an Oscar nomination. Sure. Yeah, co- copyright, <laughs> copyright, neutral Batman movie. Okay, great, with with artsy undertones. Uh, and then, and then you bring him back as Vulture, another winged <laughs> character in a superhero movie. And now he's in the Flash again. Yeah, and now he's as Batman, Batman again. again. Everything so sure. full Let's circle. Go. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Fun or like this really leaned into the John Hughes idea. Yep. It it was fun. Yep. Great, great villain. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, Iron Man was in this. <laughs> and Iron Man was in this, I, yeah. To me, Iron Man is the weakest part of this, actually. I'd agree. They definitely did that as, Just the, hey, Marvel, we let you have a Spider-Man in your thing. Let yeah. us have a Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, I'd say it's a solid B. 
Solid Personally. B? Yeah, cool. I, I would say we probably have to bump something down. Yeah. If we put it in B. Okay. But. What's, your, what's your lowest B? Out of these, I'd say Avengers. Okay. You right. agree? Yeah, I do, actually. Okay. Um, I, I really loved... Sp- Again, like, we talk a lot, and we talk on, the, yeah. on film theory a lot, about the idea that the MCU understands that they're not just superhero movies. They yes. are genre... Like, they're genre movies with superheroes, superheroes in them, in them right? And this one is, like you said, it's, it's a John Hughes movie. It's a coming of age. It's a buildings roman of a kid who's learning what it means to, to grow up and be confident and have powers and this and that. And it does that so well. And, and when I first watched this, I'm like, this is a, mo- like, this is a fresh movie. Like, yeah. this, this is a younger movie that's not told in a cringy way where it's like, oh, I'm going to do a TikTok film. Like, no, he's a kid who's filming himself on his phone and he's like, blo- you know, he's vlogging yeah. about his life. I'm like, this is, they understand what youth culture is right yeah. now and what the internet is. And this is a character who is the right amount of nerdy, yes, but still I, yeah. endearing and like, the, it this is, is the first movie that really nails Peter Parker and Spider-Man. 100%. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where I think a lot of other ones have struggled with, like, who is Peter Parker, who is Spider-Man, how do they yeah. merge together? This one gets it. I, I think it's great. It's also one of those ones when I say, like, what are some of your favorite MCU movies? This is one of my favorites. I think that the Vulture is a fascinating villain. I also think he's a very sympathetic, sympathetic yeah. villain. Yeah, totally. Where for years I've harbored that theory, and we just are finally doing yeah. it after all these years of, like... The sins of Tony the Stark. The sin, sins of Tony Stark, because this is a guy who just was looking for work, and then Tony Stark's government contract comes in and steams roll, steamrolls him, and he's like, well, screw you, yeah. you know, like, insider man, accepting government contracts, I'm going to do my thing. So, like, I think Vulture's a really interesting villain. The moment in the car where they're dropping, they're dropping off at the prom or whatever, or homecom- Homecoming, duh, it's the game of the movie! <laughs> uh, when they're dropping off at Homecoming, and there's that moment of, like, hey, I recognize who you are and you recognize who I am, and they're having that intense car conversation. Even the lighting in that scene is great. So good. The second he figures it out, they're stopped at a stoplight, yeah. and he's, like, figuring it out, and it's mm-hmm. red, and he figures it out, and it turns it's green. Yeah. He's like, oh, I know what's happening. It's, it's brilliant. It's, yeah. it's real good. Like, the, the tension of that moment, the writing of that <laughs> moment is awesome. Uh, final battle, yeah, it's not, not my fave, but solid. I'd say, I'd say solid B. Cool. Yeah, totally. Uh, next is Thor Ragnarok. Oh, the, the one that uh, saved Thor? I, yeah, I would say so. Coming off of, Completely, com- coming off of our F-tier <laughs> dark world. They, they looked at Thor and what he was doing and... The prob- problematic, not in like a... They a, tilted the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> the problems they have with this character coming off of Thor of the Dark World and Avengers Age of Ultron, and they were like, this character needs a complete reinvention. What if we got a Kiwi who had previously done a like $15,000... Right. Yeah, right? The, <laughs> movie with Sam huge, Neill. Huge, like, right, huge gamble. Yeah, huge gamble. They let Taika Waititi do so much weird crap. Yeah, it's a weird and, one. It worked. Uh, yeah, I I was actually at the premiere of this one, which is oh, yeah? which is cool. Uh, it was my one and only MCU premiere, but I got to walk the uh, blue carpet. I believe it was for this one. Um, Hashtag was, bias. Yeah, I mean, yes and no. <laughs> uh, I I think it's great. I love this one. Uh, I thought it was really funny. Again, like I coming off of Thor. Thor one was like eh, mid. Thor two was like, oh, this is terrible. Uh, it, uh, Age of Ultron, hot tub, hot tub Thor party, <laughs> like hot tub party Thor, ah, pass. And so I was not excited yeah. about like to see another Thor movie. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this is like my favorite guy in yeah, this thing, yeah, in, right? in yeah, this series. Yeah, like Hemsworth be funny. Yeah. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. And the villain was great. Yep. I got Kate Blanchett to be a villain. That's, like, my, that's my biggest criticism of this, criticism of this one is Hela, again, one of those interesting... There's a lot of interesting villains in these movies that never get to be interesting. Like, Hela... And then they die. Yeah, and then they so die, frustrating. right. frustrating. Yeah, the idea of, like, Hela coming out and being like, hey, I, I, this is justifiably mine. Yeah. And, and your father basically... <laughs> Odin like, killed, was bad, actually. Yeah, Odin yeah. was bad, actually. I am here rightfully taking what's mine. And everyone's like, no, nah, go, go back. Go back to hell, you. And it's like, oh, man, yeah. poor Hela. Like, I felt bad for her, and she was a legitimately threatening villain, and I wish I would have gotten to spend more time with her and seen more of that, and the fact that they had to destroy Asgard in order to defeat her, I thought that was really interesting, and again, like... Yeah, like they leaned into Ragnarok. They, right, they leaned really into that cool. idea. This was also, again, one of those moments that had 
Thor Love and Thunder, if this movie was so good, Thor Love and Thunder had to rip it off multiple times. <laughs> Uh, you know, just less well, uh, where they're like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we have a play that reenacts the moments from yep. Dark, Dark yep. World with funny cameos? Because no and one stuff. watched it. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it was great. Like, this one, again, when I, we're in that, like, wheelhouse of, like, these are some of my favorites yeah. in the whole entirety of the MCU. Not me walking down the red carpet, but, like, this was just a, I like this movie. I will go back to this movie. I enjoy this one yeah, a lot. Yeah, uh, this is an S tier for me. Wow, S tier. Yeah, I, this... Great movie. It's also sci-fi. It takes it again. It takes a lot of boxes. I really like weird sci-fi, fun character, great villain. I Jeff Goldblum's in this Jeff movie. Jeff Goldblum's great. In He's it. great. I, I, you know, it's funny I, when you said that. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I lifted it as a here. But looking back on it and thinking about like, what would I fault about this one? Unlike all the other, the only thing I can fault about this one is just Hela is underutilized. Like yeah. her plot gets a bit too sidelined. For her being the main bad guy. For sure. Um, but no, you're totally right. Everything else about it, and, and that's a minor gripe relative to everything else. It's so funny. It is really, it, it, it does justice to the characters. Uh, Bruce Banner is a cameo in it, but also like not an unnecessary, yeah, like, like it I mean, works. I would say he's even like, like a side protagonist. Yeah, no, he's no. a big character. Uh, yeah, he that's is. something Marvel has done that I really appreciate is they're like, we have all these characters. Yeah. Why not use, use them? The, yeah, actually use them, which is like, great. Him, yeah. him jumping out of the, of the plane <laughs> or whatever it was, hovercopter, and like face planting. That's <laughs> so good. Uh, on the Bifrost, amazing. Yeah. You know, because I'm going to turn angry and he doesn't. It's, it's awesome. So, so good. Yeah, I, I'll agree, actually. I, at first, when you're like, that's S tier, I'm like, yeah, but no, I'll agree. I enjoyed this one a lot. All right, next up. Next up is Black Panther, the original. Okay, original Black Panther. Yeah. Uh, yes. Very, first of all, we should acknowledge culturally significant movie. Oh, huge. Uh, Huge. Really changed the game. Yeah. Uh, there, a lot of fun internal studio politics where the guy who used to be in charge of Marvel did not want this movie to get made. No way, really? I didn't yeah. know this. Uh, he had... How can I say this? Uh, <laughs> in polite yeah. society. Uh, he was skeptical <laughs> he's, he's that there was biased. an audience for this movie. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. And was sure. proven very wrong. Th this, I mean, this was... Th this was not Kevin Feige, to be clear. No, Kevin no. Kevin Feige wanted to do this movie. Of course. Yeah. And, and I mean, this was the era, I think, where traditional media was discovering that, like, hey, alternative faces and voices yeah. want to hear stories and will go out to see stories. And this was really, like, a, a cultural touchstone for that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And Ryan Coogler, amazing director, probably one of the best directors working in the MCU right now. Mm -hmm. uh, to say nothing of his actual MCU content, yeah. just outside of it, As great a director. director. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, super solid movie. One of the best villains in the MCU. Michael yes. B. Jordan's amazing. Yep. Uh, way to create an interesting world within your already interesting world as yep. well. Like a, yep. a Wakanda, the Wakanda is such thing, a which fun is an interesting bubble subset of the, of this universe that is worth exploring. Mm -hmm. Great, like yeah. uh, it didn't stick with me. I think as much as some of the things we have in A tier, but yeah. I I don't see anything saying that it couldn't be. See, A -tier. that's uh, and so I'm I'm trying to debate between high B and A and and A uh, be because high B because for you because I agree. Like as the as the like look at the context, huge context, yes. massive. As a movie, Michael B. Jordan, Killmonger, great, yes, fantastic. Um, I think. He is so compelling. And finally, not only are we creating an interesting villain, but we're giving him the screen time to be the interesting villain that he is. And it makes sense when he dies, too. Yes. Like, I, this is one of the situations where, like, you earned this instead of, yeah. you know, we're just going to kill off this character because it's the Marvel thing to do. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, this was one of the first times where the CGI actually bothered me, which is yeah. not usually a thing that I feel. Like, I am usually like, ah, you know, CGI, CGI, whatever. Like, it doesn't usually bother me. This was the first time... For Xbox 360. Yeah, where yeah. moments felt like very Xbox 360, where, like, the where the battle sequence uh, in front of, like, the waterfalls, and you're, like, seeing the, like, NPCs in the background <laughs> going, yay, yay, the yay! The cut out. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, that that's rough, man. And then uh, same thing with the final battle, where it's, yeah. like, two just, like, weightless 360 characters, like, going at it, and they're both black blobs yeah. with, like, slightly in a, colored... In a dark different... cave. Yeah, in a dark cave. And so... To say... Uh, CG artists wasn't your fault. No, you no. No time. No, no, 100%. Like, I, that is no criticism. 
we all recognize yeah. <laughs> the pressure. Like, you are creating these movies. Like, let's yeah. be honest. Let's call a spade a spade. None of this is happening in, in front of a camera. Like, and so it was one of those where technically, and, and again, I'm not that guy where I'm like, oh, technically this was an in, inferior <laughs> movie. But this was the one of the few times where I'm like, I see the cracks at the edges and that's not really working for me. The amount of like, and, and this was also one of those times where the amount of fake out deaths that T'Challa has in this one. He's three. Th- he, yeah, he has like three separate times where he like dies and comes back. And so it's it, it was overused as a plot point for me, which made, again, moments of this feel weightless or disconnected or lesser in a lot of ways. Like the stakes felt lesser to me. Um, so yeah, that's why I would put it as a high <clears throat> B. Fair. Okay, Absolutely. is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, you don't, don't gotta convince me. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it, <laughs> I mean, I'm appreciating our, this bell curve. Our opinions are factually <laughs> correct, though, so I want to confirm that, that we are yes, factually correct. We are about factually this. correct on the same page. Okay, great, cool. Um, next up, yeah, Avengers: Infinity War. Done. <laughs> Done. Uh, no argument for me. This, is, this was one of the best things Marvel ever did. Yeah, uh, it. First of all, amazing decision to tell this through Thanos' eyes and yep. make him the protagonist. Yep. Uh, every character has a great character arc. This is the culmination of all of the stories they've been building towards. Mm-hmm. And it worked. Yes. Like, it, culturally significant moment. The Thanos snap. Yep. Do you remember, like, did you go onto the subreddit that was like, oh. did you get Thanos Yeah, uh, yep, 100%. Did, yep. did you get Thanos now? Uh, I did not, actually. I, I it. also did not. Yeah! <laughs> made it! Coin yeah. flipped. <laughs> is that even worse, though? Right, I know. Actually, yeah, uh, that's kind of... It is actually the worst option, it seems like. Is, no. is, there, is there anything else to say about no, this? No, it's, it's brilliant. It's, it, I mean, they had this, like... I'm looking at it. It's like this insurmountable task of, here's 500 characters, fit them <laughs> all in, and don't make it feel too crowded. And they did it. And they did it so well. And it's everything that I, you know, personally resonated with me with the original Avengers, where, like... Different heroes with different personalities coming at it with each other and having interactions that make sense for their personalities. And they work and it reads well and it's funny, but also nothing feels forced. The stakes are real. I mean, and like you said, and Thanos is this incredible character yeah. who you're like, you know, just like we were just talking about with Killmonger in, in Black Panther, it's like, I see where he's coming from. I don't necessarily agree with his methods, but he's got a point, and I get it, and I am compelled and intrigued by what yeah. this guy is doing. So, cultural milestone, huge achievement for, again, context-wise, massive context, knocked it out of the ballpark, love it, 100%. Yeah. So, it looks like we're starting to get a, a little bit long. <laughs> I don't want to break <laughs> this up into two, uh, but I think we have to break this up into We We took okay. two, what we said... <laughs> That we weren't going to talk about the TV shows. And then we spent like 25 minutes talking about the TV <laughs> shows. We spent 25 minutes talking about the TV shows, and now it's a two-parter. Anyway, guys. Uh, Matt, that Matt is... Pat, and Lee will return. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! B- cut to black. <laughs> Matt, Pat, and Lee will return. Yes! Wait, we need a post-credit scene. We do. Oh, what's our post-credit scene? Okay, so there's going to be a cut here, um, so you don't know what's coming. No. <laughs> it's... But, um... So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya See in the ya. next one. Comment below. Who cares about your rankings of Marvel movies? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Ours are the factually correct ones. Uh, so you can put your opinions down there and they're going to agree with ours because you know the facts. Uh, I'd love your opinions on Cookie Cake. That's what I want because that's what we got out there. Cookie Cake celebrating the, lo- the launch of Style Theory. And, Go subscribe. Uh,